Hey friends, Fargo here, and welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to Buford's Big Adventure. He looks so disinterested. <laughs> Alright everyone, so Dover. Let's go talk to Dover real quick. So let me actually check my side tasks real quick. Uh, oh yeah, we're almost done. Oh, the salty spittoon, that's right. Okay, so uh, if you remember from the last episode, we kind of finished up most of the side tasks. Um, so we'll go ahead and talk to Dover, and then we'll go to the Salty Spittoon. I'm gonna be doing a few things different here, so let's talk to Dover real quick. You're really whipping Barnacle Bootyard into tip-top shape, aren't you? I'm really glad I got you working with me, to be honest. You make my job so much easier. So, I wanna give you this next one on my list. It says here, Billy Bud has had some troubles recently since the cogs came and needs some assistance. If you could, like, go over to his shop, Billy Bud's Big Bargain Binnacle Barn over on fucking near Boulevard and see what's up. Kind of be like a big help, dude. All right, man. Good luck. All right, Dover. Let's go to Billy Bud. Now, before we go to Billy Bud, we should probably talk to the Salty Spittoon. Because I don't want to uh, completely separate that from our tasks. Because uh, that is the last item on our list that we need to do for our side tasks. Uh, so that would be kind of interesting to do alongside this other, I think, building task. Because uh, there's going to be a lot of buildings that we need to do. So we're not really close with anything in terms of gags. I uh, I think I got a bunch of gags last time. So we're going to have to just use our gags as we go along and see what gets closest. But let's talk to the Salty Spittoon. Right over here. This, this task, for anyone that doesn't know, is a really long task. So Welcome to the Salty Spittoon. How tough are you? Uh, I can open a bottle of ketchup. Would that be tough enough? Mm. No, I'm not sure, kid. Opening a bottle of ketchup isn't that tough. Oh, okay. You're gonna have to prove it to me. How about we start with the easy stuff? Them robot things around town. Let's see how tough you really are. Alright, so he wants us to fight some cogs. Okay, so 12 3 plus cogs anywhere. And then we have to go talk to Billy Bud. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, we'll probably want to open up a uh, 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 Tune HQ for that. For the building so we might want to just do that building uh for that task but let's go talk to billy bud i think he's on seaweed street or no buccaneer boulevard sorry uh so buccaneer boulevard is right over here so i'm trying something new i'm i'm doing voices for these guys now because i had someone say that they wanted me to do voices for the toontown characters so i'm gonna start doing toontown voices for these characters so i want to i want to see what sticks because i don't really know how to do a toontown uh <laughs> Uh, let's play, so. If you guys want me to keep reading voices like this, just let me know. Alright, we're going into Billy Buds. Oh, thank goodness. Some of them can help me. Okay, listen, I need you to run to... What do you mean, slow down? My apologies. Let me explain. So, not too long ago, I was showing Melville my latest and newest binnacle. It's a fine specimen with all the bells and whistles you can ask for in a binnacle. Precise, accurate, and it shined with a shiny silver finish. That baby was the finest binnacle I ever produced. What I was saying was, when the cogs came, I was showing my binnacle to Melville, as he's an avid sailor and a prime customer for such a tool. But as soon as the cogs came, we got in a scramble and hurried off. My butter-gloved self dropped the beautiful finnacle right there in the Lighthouse Lane pond. I need you to help me and go fish it up. Now it's heavy, so it might take you a few tries, but it'll be extremely appreciated. Please, hurry! Alright, so he lost his binnacle in the pond, so we gotta go and grab it real quick. Lighthouse Lane, so let's go fish up that part, then we'll see if we can't join a building real quick. Oh, an executive cog invasion has begun. Okay. What is it? Downsizers. Okay. Huh. Well, maybe we can get a building now. Well, but there's a lot of invasions going on right now, so we'll have to check. But, uh, let's give it a... Oh, what's today? Is it Friday? I didn't even check. No, it's probably, um... Oh, it's probably Silly Saturday. But whatever. Uh, I think we got the binnacle. I actually wasn't looking. <laughs> there we go. 322 XP. Oh, um, guys. If you didn't know that the fishing uh, XP actually shows now. So when you catch a fish, it actually tells you how much XP you're getting from that fish. 
Uh, it used to not tell you that information, so I'm kind of glad that that's there. Um, that's a really cool feature. Um, you'll see sometimes that it says like 10,000 XP gained for this, and uh, I love it when that happens. It just feels so satisfying. Um, but yeah, that's a cool little feature that was added recently. I think it was in a shadow update, uh, but still really cool. Really, really cool stuff. Okay, we'll stop fishing for now and then, uh... Oh! <laughs> Won't you look at that? An old king crab. This is my first time fishing in this pond and I got an old king crab. Wow. I was just about to stop fishing too. That's awesome. I guess we don't have to fish in that pond later. <laughs> I was actually kind of concerned because, um... I was going to do an entire fishing episode where... I just fished in Lighthouse Lane the entire time, but I guess we don't have to do that now. Just caught the old king crab right on the, the first try. <laughs> that's uh, that's awesome. But uh, we'll go back to Billy Bud, and then uh, if he has us fight some cogs, then we'll see. We'll see what he uh, wants us to do next. Oh, my precious binnacle. But it's all messed up. There's a lot of issues with it that I don't even know where to start. The clock's not functional, the clinometer's missing, and my correcting spheres are all rusted over. Now listen here, Beaver. I need you to help in restoring this binnacle to its former glory. This is really important to me. What's that? Ooh, what's a binnacle? Do you not know? Okay, you know what? I'll explain what a binnacle is to you and why it's so important once you've helped me. Take this over to Admiral Hook at Hook's Clock Repair on this street and have him look it over. Handle it gently because I don't want it getting busted up even more. And please, be careful, Buford. Binnacles don't grow on trees, you know. Okay, Duck. I'll be careful. Alright, where is this guy? Oh, he's all the way at the start. I think he wants us to give a... Squirt guns, I think? If I remember right, he he wants us to give him squirt guns. Uh, I don't remember if that's later in the task or what, but... Or no, not squirt guns. That's, uh, I think that's Toontown rewritten. What's that you got there? Billy Bud's Binnacle? From Billy Bud's Big Bargain Binnacle Barn? I work with him from time to time, uh, when he wants to install clocks onto his binnacles of his, so I can surely help out. But while I'm here fixing this timepiece, I want you to make my time well spent. Could you go out and defeat a couple of those nasty cogs roaming around the outside of my shop? I find myself watching the clock more than ever with how often I see them pass by, and as a tune that works on them for a living, I don't need to look at them any more than I already do. I'll get this clock working in a jiffy in the meantime. See you soon! Alright, so that's the task we were looking for. We need to fight cogs now on Barnacle Boulevard. Uh, so we can go ahead and look for a uh, group. All right, let's look for a uh, let's look for a thing. I found a group, and I'm going to uh, head there. It's on what Anvil Acres. So we'll go to Anvil Acres and we'll go and do this group. It's a one-story lava building in the Toxic Manager Invasion. Let's see, I don't have any of the lava stuff marked, so I'm just gonna have to walk. Ah, here he is. A little tiny the bat. He's got two glasses. That's kind of cool, actually. I like this character. Oh, we got another one. We got a orange cat, I believe. Uh, this is going to be a very easy building. I'm doing Toontastic. Thank you for asking. Now, I'm not going to do any voices for the tunes, but uh, I will do shopkeep voices. Oh, he likes my look. I got the cat. It's a burger cat. Nice. Yep, we're going in. Alright, I didn't check anyone's gags. Ooh, double talker. Double double talker. <laughs> double double talker.exe. This is fascinating. Uh, so I just need this for... Yeah. I just need this for the building task. I'm sure I'm gonna have to do way more, though. Uh... Just in case. Just in case. Because I believe it'll kill both of them. Yeah, it will. I just wasn't sure. Because uh, I know that does like 70 damage. 72 or whatever. Alright, what's going on in the elevator? A backstabber and a pettifogger. Nice. Uh, this should be enough for my Billy Butt task. Uh, that uh, clock task. So let's go ahead and... What are we going to do? 
Well, we could just, uh, yeah. <laughs> could just do that again. Uh, I don't really know what to do. Because that's just going to, uh, get the cogs. Uh, what is he using, uh, yeah, zap. I hope this counts for me. Because I wasn't able to do anything. Let's see. Okay, it does, it does. I was a little concerned because it didn't let me use a gag, and I thought I wasn't going to get any points. But, uh, yeah, I got it. So let's see if we have that uh, building task finished. Uh, I think it was a chance task, so we'll see. We'll see. All right. Yeah, we're done. Sweet. Okay, so yeah, we do have to talk to uh, ND Sky. So he's right over here. Let's hope that this is the last of this task. Excellent. Thank you very much, Buford. Now, about your reward. Imagine you're soaring high above the foggy skies of Barnacle Boatyard, but suddenly you take a nosedive. Straight into your portable hole. Imagine that force, throw it down, and hop right in. I bet you'll find yourself in Barnacle Boatyard in no time. Thanks again for helping me with my planes, and good luck out there with these robots. You now have teleport access to Barnacle Boatyard. Oh, thank you. Well, there we go. We have teleport access. Nice. Now we can just go there. <laughs> it's about time. Buford finally has teleport access. Oh, I'm so happy. Okay. So, now we only have two tasks to do. We're pretty much almost done with our side tasks. We just focus on the main task line. Oh, gosh. We got an Undertale group over here. <laughs> oh, yeah, they're all bears, too. <laughs> okay. Admiral Hook. Maybe he makes us give him gags here? Ah, there you go. Good as new. Tell Billy Bud to be a bit more careful next time. And until next time, see you around. Alright. Okay, back to Billy Bud. Admiral Hook does great work. Okay, so I just need my clinometer and my correcting spheres repaired. Oh, and I guess I owe you an explanation, don't I? Well, it's quite simple, really. A binnacle is a tool we use on the ships near the wheel that the captain uses for a variety of purposes. It can range from things such as reading a compass, telling the time, or seeing the leveling of the ship. It's a necessary tool for any proper captain. And that's why I take such pride in manufacturing the best in all of Toontown. So, my clinometer. It's jammed, and I need it to move smoothly, so I need you to take it over to Salty Stan. He's the tune with the plan. His shop is from fore and aft, here on Buccaneer Boulevard. And remember, Buford, I need you to be very careful with this one. Very careful. Be careful! Alright, so, gotta talk to the horse now, and we're going to finish up this- I think there's two more things that he wants us to do. Uh, where is he? Okay, so he's right there on that side. I don't remember what this task wants us to do. I always forget- I always forget this, uh, line. Welcome to From Fore to Aft. I'm Salty Stan, and I deal with all sides of ships, from stern to stern, from fore to aft, and from after fore, if you can believe it. What can I do for you? Clinometer, huh? It's a little more than I'm used to, but I think I can make it work. Hmm, looking at this one here, it does look like it's been through quite a lot. I'm going to need a new stand, weights, polish, and a new dial arrow. These are all the things I can make myself but I need some spare parts. I think if you can go out and fight a few of those stronger robot things, you might be able to find some extra stuff for me to work with. If you come back with spare parts for those four items, I'd be glad to help you two out. All right, so more cogs. Uh, we can just fight them on the streets, I think. Okay, so what are we looking for? Three cogs, okay. Level three cogs. So this will help me with my, uh, uh, there's one. This will help me with my gags. All right, let's go. Come on, drop. Nice, there we go. All right. Gosh, we are so far away from our gags. It's gonna take forever to get the next one. Um. Okay, we didn't get any spare parts, but we'll keep going. Let's see. They're all level two. Mm. We'll fight a connoisseur, why not? Oh, did another cog join? Ugh. Let's lure him, let's see if this works. 
Oh, man. I knew he was going to use that. Nice, nice, Buford. Good job. Finger wag. Let's try it again. Oh, man, come on. I forget, isn't Brainstorm the lowest hit chance? I can't remember. I thought it was the lowest hit chance on, like, Micromanagers or something. But, uh, third time's a charm, let's go. Alright, so now... We'll want to hit... This lad. That should kill. Oh, it didn't! Alright, we'll just hit him again, then. And, uh, I won't get any XP from the Pencil Pusher. But maybe I could lure him again? I feel like he won't do enough damage to take me out here. But uh, we'll try and give him a good old lure. Nice! It worked! So uh, now we can just use our squirt gun. It's unfortunate, but... You know. The pencil thief strikes again! Oh, there's a pencil pusher invasion! Uh-oh. It's the pencil thief's dream! Buford, no, don't do it! I can't control him! My hands are off the keyboard, no! He wants revenge for the pencils! None of them are, uh... <laughs> None of them are level 3. Ah, oh, there's one, there's one. Yeah, it is level 3, okay. Alright, let's go. I remember someone, uh, commented last time that they wanted me to get sound. So I might end up getting sound next. Uh, so I'm gonna be saving my training point for a little while. Uh, just until maybe I get the uh, the second training point, and I'll I'll probably get sound with it. Uh, once I get sound, uh, I feel like my time with Buford will be a lot easier. Okay, so how many more do we need? Two more. So let's go ahead and look for. May as well just fight a level four. Why not? Yes, nice. Trap is so useful. All right, so that's all our parts from the pencil pushers. I guess we can go ahead and turn into. Salty Stan, we have this other task to do as well, so let's just go ahead and get this turned in real quick. Ah, yes, these look good. I can most certainly work with this. In fact, it won't take long at all. Just keep those cogs off my aft while the ship is sailing. Oh, so he wants me to fight more cogs. Let's go. I have enough drop, so we can go ahead and just shoot for a level 2, I think. Uh, I know I need level 3s. But, may as well just use my sandbags while I have them. Yeah, yeah. So we're approaching halfway with our drop. So we're gonna get our level 4 drop. Uh, maybe in Yield Toon Town. Oh my gosh, that guy just vanished. Uh, so let's fight a level 4. So we can use our, uh, water balloons. I'm probably not gonna show all of this, just because I feel like it would take up too much time. But just know that I'm fighting cogs. <laughs> I don't think it, uh, it's really too interesting. Alright, we finished that task. Uh, let's go turn it in. We got one more cog to fight for, um, for the Salty Spittoon, and we should be good to go. Um, but let's talk to Salty Stan and see what's up. So, you want to know why they call me Salty Stan? Most people assume it's because I'm a grump. But it's actually because I have high sodium. It's a bit misleading, I find. But I actually quite enjoy the company of tunes. So it was nice to see you drop by, Buford. Alright, that looks like it does it. The clinometer now moves perfectly as you level it around. Thanks for dropping by, and good luck, Buford. So I think that's all we had to do for that guy. Uh, now we gotta go back to Billy Bud. I think he wants one more thing from us. And we should be solid. Oh, that's very smooth. Salty Stan did wonders. Now it is my iron correcting spheres. I've seen this many times, but these are extremely important as they minimize any interference on the compass's magnetization. You get all that? We can't have them being all rusty, so they need to be replaced. Take this binnacle over to repair shop called Flounder and Sink Ship Repair over on Anchor Avenue. Again, be gentle. This is a sensitive piece of equipment, Buford. Okay. Repair on Anchor Avenue. Okay. So we'll want to go back to the playground because I'm actually pretty low on gags anyway. This should be the final thing on the list because I think there were only 
uh, three things that he wanted us to do, but now uh, we finished them all, except for one. So let's give it a go. Alright, where is this person? At the very end of the street, okay. Okay, we're here, I think. Yep, Flounder and Sink, ship repair. Welcome. I'm Repair, and I will repair any ship-related item you need. Shrouds, rudders, masts, hulls, you name it. Correcting spheres, eh? Not a very common request, but certainly something Repair can handle. I'll need you to get me some good metal for such an item, however. I think if you try to salvage some metal from the fishing ponds around here, that should work well enough. Good luck. Okay, so metal. Uh, okay. Oh, just from the cogs. Okay. We only need two. Okay. But this guy will do. If do, Okay, there we go. <laughs> so what do you guys think of the series so far? I've been having a lot of fun with it. Uh, I'm kind of sad that I haven't been doing this since the start and I'm kind of happy I caught it early because I I'm really having a lot of fun making voices for these characters um, but yeah I hope I can continue doing this I hope you guys like the voices I'm doing and I hope I can keep doing it until you know drowsy dreamland and it's gonna take a lot of work but it's gonna be great I think oh go back to Reg okay he's right here sweet Alright, alright, so you defeated a few of them. Big deal. You're gonna have to step it up to get full access to the salty spittoon. Try those tall buildings. Then we can talk. Two cog buildings, great. <laughs> we'll do those next time, I think. But let's keep fighting these cogs on the street. Alright, same drill as before. Just throw squirt gag and then get the drop on him. I kind of feel bad for my lure because I feel like I don't use it a whole lot. But, um, I think it's fine. Uh, I think if we get maybe trap or something, if you guys want me to get trap, then maybe I'll uh, get more use out of it. <laughs> um, but hey, we can go back to repair. All right, what do you got to say? Welcome back. I was just getting all my tools ready to work while I was waiting for you, and this scrap metal looks perfect. In fact, you got plenty to spare. This will be great for future projects of mine. Thank you. I just have to fashion this scrap metal into a couple correcting spheres and attach them on either side. And... Boom! All ready to go. Gee, this medical sure looks fancy. I'm sure Billy Bud will be pleased with the condition it's in now. Thanks for stopping by, and thanks for the extra iron. Okay, we can go back. Uh, let's go ahead and get our gags and go back to Billy Bud. All right, we're back at Billy Bud's. Oh, happy day. My baby's whole again. And it's all thanks to you, Buford. Thank you so much. I'm going to have to put in quite a word for you all around town. Just so everyone will hear about all the amazing work you've done for the tunes of Barnacle Boatyard. Good luck with your future endeavors. And if you ever need a pristine binnacle someday, you'll know where to find me. See you around, Buford. And please be careful. Oh, wow. That's it. So now we go back to Dover. Uh, that looks like that's all that we're uh, going to be doing today then. <laughs> because we're back to Dover. Alright, well we'll head back to the playground and uh, I guess we're done. Uh, before we go, let's actually go home and check our catalog. And see if there's anything we want to buy Buford real quick. Alright, what what's in the catalog today? Uh, I, I actually forgot what's, uh, what's here. Okay, catalog number 7. Uh, what's that smell? Are you talking to me? Thanks a million. Uh, I kind of like some of these. <laughs> Why not? I'll buy that. Why not? Uh, oh yeah, th this stuff. This stuff. That's right. There's a few things in here that I think you would wear, but maybe we'll keep him to just the the prince hat. I think that will be good enough for Buford. Um, ooh, applause. Let's buy him applause. Uh, he doesn't have bow, though. That's okay. Uh, we do need applause, actually, for uh, uh, applauding tune-up and all that. But um, for anyone that hasn't seen my house yet, here's my house. <laughs> it's uh, got Valentine's Day stuff and St. Patrick's Day stuff. Um, this series has actually been going on for quite a while. Uh, I still need stuff for this room, uh, if anyone wants to recommend anything that I should put in this room. Uh, uh, if you want to send me anything... Uh, 
I'll probably start letting people know when I start recording Buford stuff uh, in my Discord. Uh, eventually, I do want to start doing that. So if you want to send me stuff and you see me during an episode that I'm recording, uh, I will be making sure to let everyone know when I'm recording a Buford video. You can just come friend me in Barnacle Boatyard. Uh, I'll probably be in the most crowded district. Um, but hey, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I'm trying something new. You know, I'm doing voices now. Uh, I had someone request me do voices for some of the shopkeeps. And, uh, but mainly because I didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> uh, so I figured, you know, if I don't know what I'm doing and the tasks are a little confusing to me, then maybe I should just read them out. Maybe just do voices and make it fun. But, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the voices. I hope you liked this video. It was a bit more experimental today. But, um, yeah. Uh, Make sure to push all the buttons down below, make sure to subscribe to join the Hypno Party, and I've been Fargo. Stay hypnotized, folks. This duck, sponsored by Scab. The oil, 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 the oil. Step one, wait for it to rain. Step two, cover yourself in oil. Step three, fly. Step four, film it. Step five, return home. Step six, sell the footage to Fargo. Step seven. Uh, wait, what's step seven, John? Uh, um, I, 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 I don't know why you're doing this. I don't know why you're making fun of this proud veteran. Oil! Oh, we're fighting for oil, Sergeant. Who's, who's worked hard you to defend the country's true American? Mm? I, yeah, I mean, defending I mean, our interests for oil? Is it olive yeah, oil just... or vegetable oil? Ooh, it's, it's avocado the, oil. It's, mm. it's in the interest of defense of our country to 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 to, to attend other places what? and steal their oil. It's from uh, it, it, they're not in our country. This is getting oddly political. Stop mocking the veteran. Stop mocking the veteran. He works it's so hard.